people it's grace mbole here how are you doing so happy to be with you guys if you're new here welcome to my channel all things grace where we talk about everything in life we can talk about anything anything that will interest you so welcome it has been some time you forgive my voice today i'm not very fine but uh, i know um, we are going to make it so today I just want us to talk about something very interesting so i just want us to get right into the video without wasting any much time okay yeah so uh, growing up i know all of us look back and uh, sometimes we ask ourselves what is it that we could have done better if we looked back in my view it's not about regrets but it's about maybe looking back and seeing where can i give myself more chances okay where can I give myself more chances and where could I have done better if I did that? But you see, life is full of opportunities. So you can do anything which you want to do for as long as your mind and your heart is into it. So welcome. I'm talking about things which I could have told my younger self. Okay, so welcome. Let's get right into the video. Thank you. So one thing uh, that I could have, uh, that I could tell my younger self, like, I should never say no to opportunities. Never say no to any opportunity. This life is full of opportunities. And when you get one which is exciting you, go ahead and try it. When you're young, like in your early 20s, basically early 20s or even late teenage, you know, so nowadays people are completely completing their high school when they are very young so if you find that uh, you have an opportunity when you are that young you have no mouth to feed you have no family to take care of so it's good if you try and uh, just get a hold of opportunities form networks with people when you are young and you have no dependence and you don't need a lot of money you can just give it a try give it a try with pay sometimes you'll be forced to volunteer but when you have the opportunities please go ahead and do that because during these times you will be the the, the 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 decisions will not be very tough actually they'll not be very tough because you're exploring so make networks take a hold of opportunities and see what the world uh, will will place before you so forgive me I'm, i need to get my notebook yeah so let's make be flexible because you are young and wild and you can try anything okay you can try anything when you're young and uh, it's the world for you to explore okay yeah then when there's something else i could have told myself is i should not compare myself to anyone okay when i was growing up and i know most of us are we had people we call mentors so when you have a mentor what do you do you want to do what your mentor will do okay i know right like uh when i got my first job uh, i was inspired by a certain lady she's still my friend up to today and i really liked how they were working out their family set up poor and i was like i would love to have such a family you know i would like to be in such a setup yeah so but I refrain from comparing myself because when you compare yourself the pressure could be too much our backgrounds are different we cannot be the same okay so don't compare yourself because you have mentors but you have your path the work of the mentor is just to guide you and lead you on the things to do but you need uh, to, 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 to know that you are unique and the purpose that you have no one will ever accomplish it in this world it is you so the mentor will be there to guide you, but you will need to take upon yourself to follow your path and your passions. The other thing I will tell my younger self is always to trust my gut. Yeah, trust your gut. Trust your gut, Grace. Trust your gut, young man, lady. Trust your gut. You know, when the gut is like the inner voice that God uses to tell us, to warn us of something, to approve a path we wanted to make, you know, those things. So when, when you feel something uh, in your heart which has been nagging you for a long time, trust that gut. And who knows, if you try taking that direction, it will be a good decision. Or if the gut is telling you keep off, please keep off because it could be warning you of something which is very bad ahead. So sometimes it is a voice of God 
it is the voice of the holy spirit those who believe in uh, in god it is god speaking to you in different ways and telling you my child if you take this direction you will fail if you take this one you are up to it okay so if it's a no it's a no if it's a yes it's a yes period yeah and during those moments where you are trusting your gut the other thing i could have told my younger self is do not fear to change course if need be changing course like how do you change course we change course in relationships sometimes when you're getting into a relationship it could be your you the worst decision ever so do not fear if you feel something is not right do not fear to take that uh, another path leave that course and take another path it could save life like we are saying gut decisions change lives and they also save lives so do not fear to take to change course when it is time to do that because you don't know what god is directing you to okay the other thing i would have told myself is letting go of people who genuinely are not happy for me how do we know when you are with a friend or people around you family yeah sometimes at first you may not uh, understand them sometimes you may not get them you may not know what they exactly want for your life but the moment you know they are not genuine the moment something happens and they 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 uh, they leave you on your own just know those people are not supposed to be there in your life okay have a small circle a few friends two three genuine friends have a bigger circle for general friendships and have the other bigger circle which is what we call the charmer circles where there is no one you can trust yeah you know yeah just study your your circles and know the people to bring into your inner circle and the people to take out of your inner circle then the other thing i would have told i would tell my younger self is always tell your inner self that everything will be okay and that whatever is happening to you has a reason everything will be okay and that whatever is happening to you is with a reason okay yeah that is that is something which you know sometimes things happen and then we think it's like it's for it's for a given it is to hurt me i don't know this one wants me to not to benefit you know those things we complain you lose a job and you're so mad about it no just know that everything happens with a reason okay and uh, you need to just tell god to reveal you with that uh, to reveal to you that reason because someday it will make sense okay rejoice in the pain laugh at your mistakes rejoice in the pain by the way I know it's hard to smile when it's painful. Sometimes personally I'll give you my story and I get mad. Sometimes I can stay that. You know the Bible says that I should not go to bed when I'm mad. But sometimes I'm so unhappy. The day one day goes, another one goes and during that time when I'm unhappy, many things go wrong. So always rejoice in your mis- in your pain and laugh at your mistake and just know that everything happens for a reason, okay? okay uh, everything happens for the reason and we can never be perfect and as those things are happening the other thing i could have i could tell my younger self is always have the bigger picture in your mind the bigger picture my friends the bigger picture the future just in your mind always tell yourself that the future is bright i know i'll make it i know i will get over this i know i know i can make it i know the future is bright okay see the bigger picture in everything and i'm sure in terms of adversities and pain we'll be able to look at it in a better way because we are looking at a bigger picture which is of course the best the other thing i could have told myself is invest and save more yeah when you're young please invest and save more do not get your little money and you go out jumping jumping and playing around with the money and not saving invest buy that piece of land yeah just uh, saving shares those who have interest there put it in a in a in a asset you know it will help you in future actually in my in the years that i'm in now savings when i was young they could be help they could have helped me but of course sometimes because of the responsibilities with have with the family and everything you don't save much but whenever you have that ability save much forgive me uh, it's raining outside i'll actually pause for a minute so that I close the window. Yeah, sorry, I may not be lit up as I was, but it's a bit raining. So we bear with the situation. You know, we have to shoot this video. We have to by all means, okay? 
Yeah, and then the other thing I could have told my younger self is never trap yourself in employment. Uh, yeah, when you are young, you have opportunities to explore. Do not trap yourself in that employment because when you stay there and the years go by and you have responsibilities, you will have to stick around for a paycheck. But of course, when it is time to quit, you will quit. Okay? When your gut tells you this is not uh, giving you the best, you can quit. Pursue your dreams and your passion. That is what is important. The other thing I could have told myself is stay true to yourself. Stay, 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 stay true to yourself. Okay? You are your own brand. Like personally, I know there are people who view me the way they want to view me outside. I have my weakness. You have your weaknesses, okay, as a person. And there are, there are those things which will they will um, they will have some some hardships will happen to you and you might doubt yourself but always remember to be true to yourself okay that is very very important be true to yourself because you are supposed to carry yourself with confidence and self esteem which is on top there wherever you go whatever is breaking you down ignore it and stay true to yourself okay the other people don't matter they do not matter trust me they do not matter okay and uh, do not always judge people please give people chances that is something i could have told my younger self give people chances and a benefit of doubt okay people are not perfect and um, do not forget that for you to be where you are, someone gave you chances. So give people chances. And when things don't go as you expect, give them a second chance, okay? If they fail, now you can consider something else. But for as long as they are young and uh, for as long as people are young, they have chances to work and make things better. So if you can do that, please give people a second chance okay yeah sometimes then the other thing i could have told myself is i don't have to know exactly what i am doing like i uh, open this youtube channel i'm not the perfect person who knows what i talk about topic one to topic 15 no but i do not know exactly what i am doing but i am doing something my passion and aim in this life is to is to do what it's just to change lives and that's why i'm here to change a life because i know if i talk to you we share when i when we talk about things here someone loves from, learns from it and it gives them hope okay yeah so like now i'm talking to uh, um, uh, um i've been teaching uh, young boys and girls and i'm sure if they come across my videos and watch they will they will make adjustments okay their mistakes they will avoid if they watch this video so you don't have to know what you're thing doing but sometimes we say finishing is better than perfect so you don't have to be ready always to do something just start okay begin it and um, when you when you begin it you don't know how you'll finish but sometimes it's better to finish than to finish uh, when it is perfect it doesn't have to be perfect okay it doesn't have to be perfect so these are some of the things uh, i could tell my younger self and the other thing which i can never forget because it lights up my world is if you find love love with all your heart okay love with all your heart because everything that you get a hold on you must give it the best shot so if you fall in love you find someone to love, love them, give them your best, so that even if something does not work out, you know you did your best, okay? If you are in a relationship, do your best. If you're married, do your best in that marriage. We hope that all marriages work. But if you get into a situation where it is not working, you, you're stepping out and you know you did your best, okay? Love. Well, one day, you will meet that person. One day, you will meet that person and they will f uh, just fit into your puzzle. Your puzzle is just remaining a uh, career check uh, i don't know what everything your plan check but there is one one small uh, opening which needs someone to fit in so you'll get someone who will fit into that puzzle and trust me life will be very very 
enjoyable so the last thing i would tell my young self is get out of that college bubble and open your eyes to the real world because the world is real and it can only be faced and only the real people will survive so just know this world is a real world and you need to give it your best shot okay get out of that college bubble of uh, funny relationships a uh, lot of begging and asking for support get to the real world try to be emotionally stable try to be financially stable try to be um uh, uh, emotionally stable sorry if i'm repeating just try to be mentally stable because the real world will require you when you are full package but if you're not perfect do not worry this world is a very big space it is there for all of us and we are going to make it so that's what i wanted uh, to talk to you guys today i'll leave you with a quote which says actually i am perfect i'm perfectly imperfect actually you don't have to be perfect to follow my passion and dreams i'm just the way i am i'm just okay i'm just enough okay do not hold on to things which do not serve you it is not important okay it is not important not important please if it is not helping you that job those friends everything which is not helping you do not hold on to it because what is it for if it's not helping you so that's it for today guys thank you for watching i hope that you have enjoyed please like subscribe and share this to your friends on Facebook, on WhatsApp, on Instagram, wherever you find this. Please share it with your friends and let's know. You can comment below and tell me what you would have told your younger self that you, you did not do at that time. So God bless you for being here. Ciao. See you next time.